for those who want to love life and see good days should keep their tongue from evil speaking and their lips from speaking lies. They should shun evil and do good, seek peace and chase after it. As a United Methodist, I uh, remember learning about John Wesley's uh, three simple rules. Do no harm, do good, and stay in love with God. Now, I, I warned you, I said they were simple rules. They're simple in the fact that they're not complicated. Doesn't mean they're, they're always easy, kind of like living out our faith in Jesus, right? But when you first hear these, it might sound as though the first two are just different ways of saying the same thing. Do no harm and do good. But think about where you've heard that first one before. Right? It's, it's in the Hippocratic Oath. Not, not Hippocratic in that we're being uh, hypocritical, but rather Hippocrates. Uh, reminding us, uh, especially those who are, are physicians and, and uh, healthcare workers, that our, our, first, our first rule, our first effort, should always to be doing no harm. To make sure that in our actions, in our way of living, in our speaking, as this passage refers to, that we're not doing harm. Uh, in Christian speak, we could say, uh, do not sin, right? Avoid those things that would, that would cause harm to a neighbor and, and to self. And maybe those things, too, that would cause harm to God. Do no harm. The second uh, simple rule is, is to do good. You see, I think Wesley included this, not because it's just another way of saying do no harm, because it's not, right? It actually takes us in a new direction, because it's not just enough to say that I'm not doing anything harmful. Rather, John Wesley wanted us to remember that it's important that we do good. We add value to the lives around us. We do good for those around us. We do good for the world and creation around us. So do no, do no harm. Do good. And that third one? Stay in love with God. Now, that too might seem like a very obvious one. But sometimes it's easy to forget why we're doing it. Why are we doing no harm? Why are we doing good? Anyone's capable of of doing good. So, so why as Christians do we do it? What, what somehow sets the Christian apart in, in doing good and doing no harm? It's because all of it is for the love of God. All of it is because of God's love that first met us, and now we respond to God with. And, as Jesus reminded us, we're supposed to share that love with others as well. And so, like the scripture says, we need to be careful that we do no harm with our tongues, with our words. But we also need to be mindful that we're called to do good, all for the purpose of loving God, loving neighbor, and loving self. Amen.